Hello again. Uh, here's a simple trick or tip for you. Uh, I've printed out uh, one of these buildings. Uh, you can find them scale scenes and other uh, providers. And I, I put it onto a, a piece of card. And then what I did was um, I went around the perimeter and cut it out and, and then I put it onto a piece of black foam core and uh, while this isn't finished you can see how effective it is you get somewhat 3D effect or at least the depth um, of the building in there and what I'll do is I will uh, go over it with pastel powders and dull it down a bit. Um, finish taking this off. And the thing about foam core, you have to be careful because when you cut it, it can get quite messy. So make sure you've got a very sharp knife and take your time. And in the end, I think it'll look pretty good. So uh, let's move on. So let's continue with uh, dressing up at this tenement style building. Uh, once again, uh, I think you can get this from 3DK and similar sites. Download it. Uh, you can extend it out to as many as you wish. Uh, and then adhere it to uh, a black a foam core with the black fill and, and this will help offset it into a sort of 3D perspective. So in order to do this you're, you're going to need uh, uh, the following. Uh, you need some pastel crayons. Um, there are different types around uh, here's two that I use and you get a variety of colours in there they all come in very useful anyway so having selected them uh, the next thing you need is uh, a sharp knife because we're going to scrape powder off uh, these crayons and then you'll need uh, baby powder uh, to help mix it up, make it go smoother over uh, the paper and, and you you apply it with these cotton pads, you can get them at you know the hardware, not the hardware store but one of your or even a chemist drugstore, you can get these cotton pads there and that helps you mix up the colours and the baby powder and then finally when you're satisfied uh, you need to fix it uh, with this uh, clear matte finish so let's just start with this and see how it goes and hopefully with, with this setup uh, you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing So, what I'm going to do is take this crayon and just scrape out uh, this powder. And it, this is grey. And as you see, I'm making a nice little pile here. And then I'll, I'll, I'll take some brown colour, uh, burnt umber or something similar because I might want to mix this up a little bit I'll just check that you can see this yep that's good there you go 
and I'm, I'm going to mix in just a little bit of green and finally uh, black and then I'm going to take some talcum powder I'm just going to drop some of it right there then I'll take one of these I think they're called Weebly pads so you can fold this up and let's just check the view yeah we'll bring this forward a little bit like that okay so I'm going to start out lifting some grey on here and then I'll pick up some powder and you know I'll rub it across the paper just to give it a, a little bit more depth and you'll see how it it pulls out a little bit but it'll become more apparent uh, once I begin to lay on uh, some more colours. And I'm just adding a little bit of black in here and immediately you'll see it highlighting. These buildings, uh, many of them in Glasgow and cities like it, uh, were built in the late 1800s onwards into the 1900s and uh, they became terribly stained uh, with the soot and dust and grime. Uh, that was that permeated everything in in, in life uh, back in those days. Uh, no wonder people were so unhealthy and and died young, like my parents. Uh, they died pretty young. So you you can see there exactly what's going on. Now, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to spray it with a fixative and then I'm going to go over it again and, and that will help darken it. So just wait until I go outside and spray this. Okay, so you can see how... Get it standing up there. You can see how it's uh, taken on a whole different look now that I've got a couple of layers of... Uh, powder on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little, little bit of green uh, to the roof because in these old buildings there was always moss or something growing up there and just you don't need it everywhere but um, also across the bottom just to give a little bit extra depth to it because these places were were damp and there you go so there's a couple of things you can do um, to add additional depth to this. Uh, you could lay on some additional thickness uh, of paper up here at the chimneys. Uh, you could add in additional layers for the doors and, and for the window sills. But where this is going to be used, uh, you might not see that. Um, you know, you could even 
run a piece across uh, where the the roof gutter would be. But next thing, I'm just going to spray it one more time to fix it, and then we'll see what it looks like on the layout. So the spray is still drying on there, but in the meantime, I'm going to try and darken up the edges here. Okay, so let's get it on the layout. So you can see uh, the effect that the tenement building has behind, let's say, the bank, as an example, or, or in that location there. And, you know, if you can just envision uh, a number of those layered, it will give you uh, the sense of depth and uh, makes for a nice little sort of diorama in there. So I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial and, and hopefully it gave you some ideas on how you can enhance uh, your own layout with <clears throat> adding to the backdrop and, and creating uh, some depth of field uh, around the perimeter uh, of your layout. If you enjoyed this, please remember to give me the big thumbs up, you know how it works, and check out my other videos, you'll see them popping up. And uh, we'll see you next time here at Partick Hill Station. Bye for now.